Super pleased to be here in Barcelona at the Moodle Moot. It's been uh, very, very interesting for us. We have a boot all the way to the left in the corner. Uh, and we've been talking to lots of Moodle users using HPP around the world. We've been talking to people from the Netherlands using it to train doctors. We've been talking to people in India using it for people uh, not super rich and still getting uh, amazing education with Moodle and also HPP. So obviously HPP is in Moodle core, but uh, how many uses it? We don't really know much. So it's been cool to be here, and, and people are telling us, yeah, most most Moodle users are using HPP, and it makes us happy. It makes us humbled that uh, that we're able to to provide value for Moodle users. I won't bore you with a long intro today. So what we'll be doing today, I'll give you two tips everyone can use. And I'm also going to demo something that we've built using, uh, using AI. So, so first out, we're going to have a little look at how you can use, for instance, ChatGPT or Bard or, or whatever, and make it create questions for you and how you can very easily get them into H5P. Some of you may already know, but I think some of these features will be new to many of you and might be very convenient for those of you who like to experiment with, with AI and, and content generation. Let's see. Just make sure I have internet. If, if we lose internet, we should be able to be fine as well, but hopefully we can have internet during this presentation. So what I've done first is ask the um, ChatGPT to create a quiz for me. And this might be a bit small, so I'll zoom in a bit and look at the prompt first. And I'm not, I'm not a prompter, but I used to think of GPT as, as a human kind of. So I just tell it like I would do one of my friends or, or a colleague uh, and, and ask it to do what I wanted to do. And as you can see here, I'm asking you to create a quiz. History of Barcelona could be anything. How many questions I want, four questions, four alternatives for each question. And then the little trick here that not many of you might know about is that H5P have this. In the quiz tool of H5P, the default mode, all of you, many of you have probably seen, but we also have textual that isn't so well known. Uh, and the textual, uh, import has a format. It looks like this. So you write the question first, a star in front of the correct answer, and you can also add explanations by adding columns. Did you guys know about this? Is it new? Oh. So I'll show you how, how I made uh, ChatGPT uh, do that format. Because th that's like the convenient part. Instead of having to paste the alternatives one by one, uh, you just get it to use that format, and then you can paste in directly. And it also gives you full control. So we're all becoming like prompt experts. So we, we can tell uh, ChatGPT exactly how we want the questions, and it will make it for us. So it's, it's a lot more powerful than using a pre-built tool where you can just choose some options, but you can't give it any instructions. So I tell it to prefix the correct answer with the uh, asterisk, suffix the correct answer with three columns, because I want to explain why the correct answer is the correct answer. That's something that takes a lot of time if you build uh, quizzes on your own. So I, I make, uh, uh, make ChatGPT do it for me. So three columns. Uh, and then I give it some instructions. This is important. Follow it precisely. And also this, do not add any labels or formatting or numbering because it, it tends to have like alternative A, B, C, question one, etc. even if you don't ask it. So just ask it to drop the labels and it, and it will. And then I get this perfectly formatted uh, quiz. So now it's just four questions, four alternatives. Barcelona, it could have been anything, obviously. And I take... Uh, uh, Maybe I need to zoom out a bit now. So then you, you copy-paste this. Copy this. Paste it in here. Ah, I didn't get it all, but you get the point. And now uh, ChatGPT has created a quiz for us. And we can just take that template uh, statement and replace 
how many questions, uh, what the subject is, and that way we can we can make it uh, yeah build anything if you want it for it if you want to tell it this is for the children six year old you can do that and it will customize the level for you so it's it's uh, it's super useful and now we'll see if we have internet Title. yeah so here we have the quiz And as you can see, when I didn't provide the correct answer, it uh, it shows the explanation below on the correct one. So we're, time is running quickly. I've done exactly the same with interactive summary. So here is the summary I got. And summary has the same thing. It has a textual version. Paste it in. Give it a title. You save, and then you have an interactive summary built by ChatGPT super quickly. Have you guys tried this before? Is it useful? Cool, cool. Okay, and now I think I have two minutes left, so very quickly show you how our smart import looks like. This is for building bigger things. So you can build entire courses, a multi-step process. So what I've done, I've taken a video about the history of Barcelona. I've given it to hvp.com smart import. And then there are several steps. So the first step is I get to review the text, textual version of, uh, of the video. We transcribe it ourselves to get it very precise. Step after that, we det detect concepts in the video. So there are some central concepts about the history of Barcelona. And then you can uh, yeah, remove things that are not relevant for you. And then the last, uh, yeah, you get to choose content types as well. But uh, the last step is so if you want interactive book or interactive video or crossword or whatever, you can choose it at, at the last step. And then you get to see the results. So here is a crossword I made based on the video, auto generated, haven't touched it at all. We can see the solution here. And then this is the history of, of Barcelona as an interactive book. So it's got eight pages. First page, interactive video with uh, reading friendly, you know, it has real nice paragraphs, the text. That's the first page. We'll just have a super quick look at the video. So here you see uh, difficult words are explained throughout the video automatically by ChatGPT, positioned automatically at the right time. There's a quiz in the middle. So here you have, uh, okay, here you have uh, uh, questions created for us for the video in the middle of the video. And also at the end, there is more questions. On page number two, we have a glossary that has been created for us, for the video. And obviously, all of this is editable. So you can go into normal H4P edit mode when you're done and correct things, remove things as you choose. Page number three has uh, flashcards that are conceptual. So these are the central concepts in the video as flashcards. So what is in industrialization? And as you can see here, it's not a general description of industrialization. It is in, in the context of Barcelona, of the video. So we are very strict with ChatGPT when we are doing smart import. It has to base everything on the video. Even if the video is incorrect, uh, ChatGPT is told to treat it as the truth. So it's, it's not allowed to come up with some other things that are not in the video, except for the explanation of words. And this is also important for, for copyright reasons. There's a quiz, so it will have uh, multiple choice questions. It will have uh, fill in the blanks. Anyone know when we had Olympics in Barcelona? 1920? 1992. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, and true false. So lots of questions there that has been built for you. There's a drag the words, the central concepts. 
There's uh, flashcards, uh, not contextual, uh, conceptual, but these are more the things that are in the video. There's uh, a summary, and then the normal interactive book uh, summary is also there. And obviously, if, imagine if you did this yourself, it would be quite a bit of work. So, so the way it is now, AI is far from perfect. You will have to go through this, make sure everything is correct, uh, remove things you don't like, but still, you know, the AI, this would take the AI maybe four minutes. And then if you, if you spend a couple of hours going through this in detail and improving it, you have still saved a lot of time by, by using it. So it can be a, a big time saver. That's it for me. Any questions? I think we have a little bit of time for questions. Yeah, we've got time for one question if you want to raise your hand. Otherwise, obviously, you can see Sivian on the H5P stand as well. Okay, maybe. Oh, just one there. Uh, amazing stuff, first of all. Uh, how do you decide which content types are, for example, in this interactive book? Yeah, so, so uh, we put in quite a bit by default. When, when you're done with the import, you can choose what you want to make. If you choose the interactive book, it will get it all, and then you will go into edit mode and remove the things you don't like. And we're also going to make it simpler to delete so that you can do it in line. It's not there yet, but it will be so that there will be these red crosses and you just, as you, as you review, you just cross out things super easily. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. And, and yeah, Martin. Thank <laughs> you.